I, I came purposely because of him. I know Wala. Let's go. Okay. Well, maybe in the uh, next when next will come, but um, Jimmy, so what I want to do here, though, we we'll still do it at purple because I used to try and use it to check what I've done before. Mm, because once we are moving, there are some things that we need. You understand? So you get to some places that maybe they don't have the best instrument to work. Yes, like that. Right. You understand? Uh -huh. so, like the place I'm coming from now, Mark knows the instrument they have there. We don't have it here. But yes. my own is I must not complain because it's my own profession. So I must find the solution Absolutely. to every problem that comes my way. So that's my own belief. So, in case you meet yourself in, a, in an atmosphere that they don't have the perfect instrument that you need to exhibit your job, to do whatever you want to do, we have different methods to, to carry out jobs. So, just, it's just the same thing we want to do here. Like, if you see all these columns now, there are some that are the middle, you can see them. Some are the edge. You see those ones that are the edge, they can easily be transferred up. Let me show you what I'm saying. So it's just the same thing as setting out because that's the English that we use for it. Whenever once they cast this floor now, the engineers will want the surveyor to give them the four corner points of this column so that they can raise it up the way they did for the ground floor. Yeah, so we call it setting out. So once they've casted this floor now, they will invite us again yes. to come, come and give them the points. Them. So those ones that are streaming like this, you know, they have the sideboard. Those ones, they can easily be projected out manually. We call it manual method. If there's no instrument, in case yeah. you meet yourself in an atmosphere that yeah, there's no the instrument. Uh, so it can easily be transferred up. All you just need to do is, you can go down, you can use maybe your plumb to take the alignment of the column. You know, just the line like this, you take it up. Use it with your plumb. Yes. So when you take it up, you take the dimension, maybe 450. You take it to the side. That means you've gotten the plumb of two the points side. of the, on this edge at the top. So you can go to the back and do the same thing. Like, yeah. okay, let me use this column as an example. See that column there now? Yeah. That's at the end. That first one. That first one. Yeah. So you can transfer the two points at the back, bring it up with that same method. Then you go to maybe that last one there again. You do the same method. So now use line. We have all this you know, line that they used yeah. to use. You tie it on that side, yeah, tie it on this side. So you use it to mark because they all of them are on the same oh, line. Same line, yes. Yeah. I understand. So to make so, it easy. To make it more easy. So then with your dimension, maybe because this column and this column, there's a dimension between yeah. them. That's when the first and the last. And the last. Mm -hmm. Because it is easy yeah. because they are the instrument. You can see a point to transfer up. Unlike this one now. How do you want to transfer this one up? Yeah, you can't start with this one because <laughs> you get what I'm saying I'm now. Unlike this one, there's no way to transfer this yes. point up manually. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm Unless you use the station to get the perfect, get the perfect point. The perfect point. And yes. that is going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. Yeah. Yeah. But, but that one with the rope. Uh -huh, exactly. So You've gotten two points at the back, two that points at the back the there. One for exactly, the exactly. So but this one also as it is now, I can still find my way out. You get what I'm saying? I can still find my way out, at least, and my error will still be minimal. Why? Because I believe these carpenters, I, may, I always make sure that they do the right thing. The right thing yeah. Once everybody in construction is doing the right thing, there's no problem for anybody. But if this carpenter did not do the right thing, I will not trust what they've done. Yeah. You have to be standing on them, ah, exactly. watching them. Exactly. Yeah. So, in a situation like this, he already knows how to fix it. Mm. So I'm just trying to, whenever we have that kind of job, I'll make sure that we share the knowledge together again. You get what I'm saying? So in a case like this, that you have this kind of color, how are you going to set it out? So what I would just do is, I just need two points. In surveying, two points is, we don't, we don't get one point. We don't need one point. 
the minimum point that we always look for is two. That is two sides. One on this side, then one on the edge. We call it X and Y. So that you get two different lines. On this axis, then on this axis. So I need two points. You get what I'm saying? So now I want to create, I want to establish two points. I want to get two points on this column so that when they cast it, if I come back, I will still determine that point. You get what I'm saying? So now what I will just do is I will take my tape. With this drawing. So you look at the drawing now. I came yesterday. So this column now, you know it's at the middle. Yeah. There is no point to determine it. So what did I do? With my tape. I do this. Okay, so you are the one that will now decide at which two points you want to go for. You get what I'm saying? So with this reinforcement, I will check from here. So, do you see now? We have what? We have 3 cm. Do you get? So, I'll write on this drawing. That's why I draft something like yeah. this outside. So, I'll write 3 cm where this column is on the drawing. I will now come to this other side again. You know, we've done for this side. I will measure this side again. Or better still let it go <clears throat> okay so now i need to come up to project we have six cm six, six yeah. yes we have six so i'll write three on this side six on this side so when they finish their casting when they've cast it you know i cannot see this same dimension this, again yeah, uh, so me i would just come i'll just bring my tape bring on this tape. iron take three cm outside on the concrete Take the same outside on the concrete. That would be easy. So I'll just use my square to cover. You see it when we want to do it. Because I saw the carpenter that side. Mm -hmm. After telling them this, the, the points to, to cover, put, uh, and they are coming with their own board. nail and board to cover it at the same time. And it's because we have defined it for them. Yes. But this one, now, we are the one that will define that it. Too. Because you have defined for them. We have defined that. That's why they can fit it. This one now, if we don't define, they will just put it anyhow. The carpenter was asking. Because Mark was, the other man was so sharp. Okay. The man, the man understand this way, but the other guy didn't understand okay. this paper. So that one was telling man that he should just get this side and this side and he will finish it. But the other guy was okay. trying to like yeah, exactly. Point. exactly, exactly. So that is the, that's where the experience comes in. So that is just how we do it. But once those ones are at the edge, they are easy to transfer. You get it? This one's at the edge. This one's at the edge, they are easy to transfer. Just go down, check what is. The alignment of the column as it's coming up. Yeah. So you can use your plumb after they've removed all these ones. Use your plumb, transfer the same line up. You can take your measurement or you transfer this other one too. You now use your tape to check what's the difference. Is it perfect? So if the process is perfect, you know how to if it's not, you know how to adjust. But all these ones that are not that are not at the edge, yes, All these ones that are not at the edge, that's where the issue comes in. That means that we always start with the first two. You do the last, to give those ones are right hinged, get the perfect. Yeah. But this one you can now do for all these ones just to be to minimize your error. I understand. You get yeah, understand. so use that one to minimize the error. Once you determine this now, you can now after you've marked that one, yeah. you now use your the, the dimension that is on the drawing. The engineer will provide the drawing for you. Yeah. So now the dimension that is from one column to another column, yeah. you're using the dimension to define the we point as you are coming. To be coming. Yes, as you are coming. So by the time you get to the one well, you back there, they have already casted. After the yeah, yeah. that's why you come in again. After casting, after casting this front. Don't worry, when they cast it, we'll still come back again. The only thing is that this book, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 a long way. I'm trying to understand. Way, but bit by bit. Uh, this one means yeah. these are grid lines. Yeah. You get all these ones, they are grid lines. This is the center line of each each columns. Okay. So we call it grid lines. Understand. You get it. So in between them, they have that. That's the dimension I'm telling that's you. From A to B. Have his own dimension, dimension, have his own measurements. So that means from that column A to this column B, there's a dimension. So that is grid line A, grid line B, grid line C, D, E, F, like that. So this is like the map, but this is the orientation. We call it orientation. That is to place the drawing in the right position. This front building is it here. So this is our back, is it here. But as you are moving, you, understand. you understand the shape. These are the dimensions. 
to have their own dimensions. So that's just, that's the logic that I use to fix this one. So I don't need to disturb myself. It's my own problem. You get what I'm saying now? So I'm the one that will fix it. Once I fix the one at the edge, so that is another method to determine the columns that are the middle. You get it. Once maybe you find yourself in a place that there is no instrument, that's it. But once you have the instrument, you don't have to disturb yourself for all these ones. You can just do it to check. After you have used your instrument to set it out, you can just use that one to check. Okay, what is the difference? Are we in order? You get it. So that's that's just the point. So we'll fix it for the rest of the columns. Because they, I think they've started mounting their winch. Okay, they've not even started. That's why I even came. I saw it on the group that they brought some wood for the winch installation. Because once they install the winch, they will start casting. So I want to do my own work before they start before their they start own start casting. To avoid every unnecessary stuff. So that's just it. There's, there's not too much about it.